welcome to our channel if you have not yet subscribed to our channel subscribe to our channel click on the bell button to get notified about latest videos today in this video we are going to discuss about the mechanism of enzyme action before moving into the video we must know some basic information about enzyme what is an enzyme an enzyme is nothing but a biochemical compound which can increase the rate of the reaction by decreasing the activation energy of that particular reaction so what is an activation energy activation energy is nothing but the energy barrier present in between the conversion of substrate to product naturally which provides the stability for the substrate when no product formation is needed so let me explain this concept with a small illustration take a bowl of sugar and keep it in shelf it will be the same for a long time for years in fact but if i ingest the same sugar into my body it will be broken down to carbon dioxide water and energy so why this difference is present because of the absence of enzymes or catalyst in the shelf it is remaining same without any changes physically or chemically so these enzymes provide necessary free energy for the substrate to convert into product overcoming the activation energy barrier so now let me show an important image in the screen you can see the image of the reaction coordinate graph in the screen in the y axis we have the free energy and in the x axis we have the reaction coordinate you can see that between the ground state of substrate and product there is a presence of a peak of energy this energy peak is called as the transition state and the peak of energy is called as the activation energy in order a substrate to convert to a product it must overcome this energy peak actually the enzymes reduce this energy peak size and at the same time it provides the free energy necessary for the substrate to convert into product how an enzyme is providing this free energy required for the conversion whenever a substrate interacts with the enzyme it mostly does with the non covalent interaction when non covalent interactions are formed between the substrate and enzyme some amount of energy is released in the form of binding energy binding energy is nothing but the energy which is released whenever some interaction or bond is formed this binding energy is added to the free energy of the system and this free energy is responsible for are overcoming the energy peak which is already reduced by the enzyme action and ultimately leading to the conversion of enzyme to substrate so this is how an enzyme works and catalyzes the conversion of substrate to product and next we have to discuss about another two important terms the active site and the enzyme action so what is an active site active site is nothing but a cleft or a pocket in most cases which is comparatively small compared to the size of the enzyme present in the enzyme to which only the substrate will bind and this active site as two sides one is the binding site and the one is a catalytic site and we'll be seeing what is a binding site and catalytic site in the course of the video so in this part of video of mechanisms of enzyme action we are going to discuss about the oxygen's three point attachment theory of enzyme action this theory talks about the stereochemical specificity of the enzyme and what is the stereochemical specificity basically it is nothing but which says that an enzyme is specific to only one stereo isomers what are these stereo isomers for example d glucose and l glucose these two are stereo isomers both have the same molecular formula but they are different only in the spatial arrangement in case of d glucose the hydroxyl group attached to the asymmetric carbon atom is on the right hand side and in case of the l glucose the hydroxyl group is on the left hand side so this is the only difference present between these two molecules and so only they call as stereoisomers and 
Let me discuss this with an example of enzyme glucose oxidase. It catalyzes the conversion of D-glucose, beta-D-glucose to D-gluconolactone. And this enzyme is specific to D-glucose anode. And this enzyme cannot speed up the reactions involving L-glucose. And an important information is that if you want to know more about D and L glucose, you can refer to our previous video which we have already posted in our channel and the link of the video will be given in the description. So let's get into the video back and this glucose oxidase is specific to D glucose alone and it cannot catalyze the reaction involving L glucose. Course, why this is happening and why the stereochemical specificity is present, how it works, that and all we are going to discuss. Now, uh, according to Oxygen's three-point attachment theory, there must be at least three points of interaction between the enzyme and the substrate. Out of these three interactions, let me take two to be binding site interaction and one to be a catalytic site interaction for my convenience. Let me consider an hypothetical enzyme having an active site which is denoted by the green dotted line and the sites present on the active site are in the black dotted line. A double dash and A triple dash are the binding site. A dash is the catalytic site and we have also an hypothetical substrate with carbon at the center and groups attached to it. Uh, what is a binding site and catalytic site? So, whenever a substrate interacts with the enzyme, first it binds in the binding site with the groups present in the substrate. And if the enzyme founds that substrate to be specific for the enzyme, then it will undergo some conformational changes and brings the catalytic site in vicinity to the substrate's groups or brings the catalytic site near to the substrate group to achieve the enzyme activity. If the enzyme finds that the substrate is not specific to the particular enzyme, it will not show off the catalytic site. So, this is the function of binding site and the catalytic site, the function is to catalyze the reaction after binding with the substrate. So, that's all about the binding and catalytic site. Now, you may have a question how the enzyme is finding whether the substrate is specific for it or not. It is based on three important things. Complementarity, that is geometric complementarity, charge complementarity and micro environment. Let us start with geometric complementarity. Let me consider this molecule having a carbon at the center and groups attached to it that is four groups attached to it now see this molecule of carbon attached in the center in a different dimension the image shown in the screen shows the same molecule which i have drawn in the board but the only difference is that each group attached to the carbon atom has been given specific shape hypothetically for better understanding you can see that the specific shapes of groups present or attached to the carbon atom can bind only to the specific sites on the enzyme active site and they cannot bind other than these sites. So this leads to geometric complementarity of the enzyme substrate. And next we have the charge complementarity. You can see the image shown in the picture in which a pocket or active site pocket is visible. Inside the active site we have the amino group, a positive group and a group of the substrate which is a negative group that is COO minus group. These two groups are interacting because of their negative and positive nature and they have the electronic complementarity between them and next we have the micro environment active sites sometimes have some micro environment that is hydrophobic or hydrophilic non-polar or polar both are similar in fact for example a non-polar group can alone interact with the non-polar micro environment prevailing active site and the polar group cannot so this also leads to the specificity of the enzyme so based on this concept only the enzyme is able to recognize whether the substrate is specific to it or not so let me tell you in this way 
if i am rotating this compound the orientation of the compound will change for example r1 will come here and r2 will come here now whether the reaction will take place or not pause the video and think for a while no the reaction will not takes place because r1 is specific to the site a1 because it is a catalytic site and the r1 group can alone undergo the catalytic site interaction and r2 group is specific to a2 site and it can undergo only binding site interaction now we are clear with what is the stereochemical specificity of enzyme we have also discussed about the how an enzyme work and also about activation energy in our next part of our video we will be discussing about the lock and key model hypothesis of enzyme auction and the induced fit model of enzyme auction and if you have not yet subscribed to our channel immediately subscribe to our channel and support us thank you thanks for watching